from the first time, cutting a nice crisp lion track and two inches of powder, to turning the dogs loose in that track and hearing them strike on that track and you could feel their excitement, you know they can smell it, you know that, that track is fresh, hearing them figure it out, hearing them jump the cat and all of a sudden you hear a tone change and every dog has its own specific tree bark and it's unlike any sound you heard the whole rest of the race. You know those dogs are treeing. You can feel their excitement and it motivates you to get up that steep mountain to go see that lion in a tree, see what they have. And the biggest thing that sticks in my mind is the sound of the hounds. The sound of the hounds treeing echoes through my mind and from that moment on, I was hooked. Cat hunting is something that my dogs and I do together. It's a passion we all share. We all get up excited in the morning. We're out there doing what we love. Mountain lions and bobcats are elusive critters, so we're really fortunate to go out there and be able to see these beautiful animals that a lot of people never have a chance to see. And what I think is really amazing about cat hunting is it's the only hunting activity that you can go out and do and be successful in a day and not have to draw any blood. You can tree a lion, take pictures, enjoy it with your dogs, and go home. Because I cat hunt with my hounds, it creates a special bond that wouldn't otherwise be created. The hours and days and days and days of working with them and training with them and spending time with them really creates a special relationship, and cat hunting is the only way to form that sort of a bond. These dogs love what they do, they're very good at what they do, and they're very intense while they're doing it. But they're not machines and they're not tools. Once you get them home, you let them go in the yard, they're just another goofy, regular dog with a passion. <laughs>